Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is a very short video to introduce you to my new little piece of software, Digital Navigation Log with the built-in E6B, Digital Navigation Log or for short DNL. Now this is an application I built to help you fill out your navigation log. If you've ever done that before, you know it's tedious. You need an E6B and all kinds of stuff to do the math. And this little application will do it for you automatically. So in order to fill out a navigation log, you need some equipment. You're going to need a sectional chart. And normally you would need an E6B and a navigation log and a plotter, which you will need, and of course, your information manual or POH. These are the tools that you are going to need because this little application is not going to get that information for you. So you need to go get the information to put into this little app. So you're going to need some experience on how to fill out a navigation log. And there's a link below here on a series I did on just how to do that. It's a five part series on flight planning and filling out the navigation log. So if you want to get into that, you can use this little app here when you're through to do your navigation log. So I have a little help file here that's going to show you exactly what to do. You just need to fill in the colored areas and you can see you need to just enter your altitude, the winds, true air speed, and true course, and all the rest of these things that you need to enter. And I have a little sample to show you how this works. So let's close this. And up here it says, click to see a sample. So we're going to put in all the information. We've done our work, and now we've put in all the information. And this is all the information we need. And now we're going to calculate all these values. And we do that by clicking here where it says click to calculate first leg. We click on that. And as you can see, it has filled everything you need for your little log. It's going to give you your ground speed. And we had the departure time. You're going to put that in there. So our departure time here was 12 o'clock. And this particular leg is going to take 5 minutes and 19 seconds. So we will arrive at our first waypoint, whatever that may be, checkpoint at 12.05 and 19 seconds. We also have 50 gallons of fuel on board and we've calculated 7.5 gallons per hour. So that tells us we're going to use 0.67 gallons and this is how many gallons we have left. And we have our totals down here. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some other values in here so you can see what this looks like when you have a full flight log filled out. And I'm going to pause this so you don't have to watch me do all that. All right, so I went in and just threw some random numbers in here just so you can see how this works. So I have our altitude. Our little flight was at 5,000 feet, and then we came down to 1,500 feet. And the wind direction the velocity and the temperature, and our knots true air speed, and then our true course. And we're going to calculate the true heading and the magnetic heading. The magnetic heading is always going to be zero. I don't believe that's simulated in simulators, so that'll always be zero. And the minus 14 comes off the sectional chart, and you can learn all about that by watching the little series. And here we have all our distances. So we've put in all our information, and now we just click each leg. So. We've done our first leg, now we click our second, and we can see the times and our ground speed, and we can just work down all the way through these calculations here. And you can see we have a total of 71 miles, and we used 4.8 gallons. And that's all there is to it. You can go back, and if you made a mistake, you can enter a new value in there, and you can recalculate. And if you really screwed the whole thing up, you can just clear the whole leg and you can start all over. So that's it for my little digital navigation log. Uh, you can download this at the X-Plane forum. I left the link down below also for that. So head on over there and download this little fella and give it a try. This is a beta version. There are going to probably be some little things that 
happen that I don't know about and you may find, and I'm hoping you guys will tell me uh, when something does go wrong. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. And if you want to leave a comment or a message or something like that, please do so. I always love to hear from you guys. So thanks again for watching, and God bless.